This is the camera showdown of two of the most popular Android phones, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the new Pixel 8 Pro. Who will win? Let's find out. Let's talk about color profile and saturation and as you can see on the photos, Canada is nearing winter now. Everything is just dull with some leaves falling and cloudy skies. Colors of the leaves looks great though. Both of these phones have the rights to be called flagship phones because both will not disappoint in terms of photos and even though there are subtle differences, I believe you will love any of these two phones. The older Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra tends to be brighter as you can see on the exposure of every images. It is also more vivid than the images on Pixel 8 Pro. The standout colors are yellow, red, and oranges, and sometimes even brown which is the colors of the soil. Well, Pixel 8 Pro tends to have a more natural looking photos, again not as vivid as Apple and Samsung, but it doesn't give you those crazy highlights, everything is well balanced, like an HDR photo. Generally, the photos are warmer like 80% of the time because sometimes white balance will throw some images off because S23 Ultra is warmer, but 8 out of 10 times, Pixel 8 Pro will produce warmer photos than the Samsung flagship. Looking quickly at the specification, both phones have really good specs hardware-wise. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has big numbers on the main sensor. With 200 megapixel, it has multidirectional face detection autofocus, laser autofocus, and OIS. And then followed by mediocre numbers from the 12 megapixel ultra wide with super steady video, a couple of 10 megapixel 3x and 10x optical zoom, also with OIS. It is completed by a 12 megapixel selfie camera with dual face detection autofocus. It can shoot up to 4K 60fps, while the rear camera can shoot up to 8K at 30fps. While the newer Pixel 8 Pro has more consistent big numbers from the 50 megapixel main sensor, also with multi directional face detection autofocus, multi zone laser autofocus, and OIS, and followed by a 48 megapixel ultra wide with dual face detection autofocus and 5x telephoto with PDAF and OIS, and still has 48 megapixel sensor. All three sensors can shoot out to 4K 60 FPS. And then you have the smallest 10.5 megapixel resolution of the selfie camera, but can also record 4K 60 FPS. Both flagship phones can shoot on Pro mode as Pixel 8 Pro already unlocked the Pro features of the camera, and you can shoot with the biggest resolution natively. And looking at all three sensors from the ultra wide, wide, and telephoto, white balance and colors are consistent. This is the audio test of these two phones, and today we're starting to get snow on Canada. So you will see a change of season on our camera comparison videos. We will try to shoot on this kind of environment and situation. This is the audio test of S23 Ultra, check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. And this is the audio test of Pixel 8 Pro, check 1, 2, 3, check 1, 2, 3. Next is ported video versus cinematic blur, and S23 Ultra has better resolution of Quad HD and has better cutout. This is the resolution test and this is 4K video recording on the new Pixel 8 Pro and this is the 8K video recording 30 FPS on Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. On video zoom test, both phones can reach up to 20 times but the stabilization on S23 Ultra is a little bit better than Pixel 8 Pro. And lastly on this category, the slow motion test and the older S23 Ultra again has better slow motion. And same goes with the super slow motion test, the older S23 Ultra is just freezing time. Next is flaring and because it's cloudy today, we won't be able to see the sun, but enough for you to see the halo. On a bright environment, I should say both of them controls the flaring really well. But when we go to the night shots, we would see that there's a stronger purple flaring on S23 Ultra, and sometimes there are random strong flaring on some of the shots. Then we have the highlights and all throughout this comparison, S23 Ultra is managing it really well. You would think that Pixel 8 Pro because of the HDR shot will produce more information on bright light source, but actually the other way around. In terms of close focus, Pixel 8 Pro gets the win on this category because it has macro mode. Although on S23 Ultra, you can use the 10x optical zoom for close-up shots. It works and it also gives a better background blur compared to the regular macro mode. Next is noise and noise reduction, so both phones exposes the subject really well, but Pixel 8 Pro has better noise reduction than S23 Ultra, and because of that, it will give you more details. In terms of reach, 30 times versus 100 times, and the space zoom of S23 Ultra can zoom further than Pixel 8 Pro. Next is sharpness in all sensors are tack sharp from the ultra wide, wide, and optical zooms, but if you go to the digital crop, you would see that S23 Ultra is sharper or applying artificial sharpness on the photo. And lastly, before going to the video test, 50 megapixel versus 200 megapixel. And if you zoom in, you will see that there's more information on 200 megapixel sensor of Galaxy S23 Ultra. 
So I think that's it for the detailed comparison of the images and videos. Now let's check the video stabilization from the action mode, the rear cameras, and the selfie. Starting with the super steady mode and the active stabilization of Pixel 8 Pro, I should say the super steady of S23 Ultra's better resolution and focus. This is the ultra wide camera in 4K 30fps and I'm shaking the phone like crazy and you can see that the stabilization on both phones are really good. Same goes on the main sensor, I think the only difference is the contrast and colors. You will see that there's better exposure on S23 Ultra and better contrast on Pixel 8 Pro. And this is the telephoto zoom of both phones, 5 times optical zoom on Pixel 8 Pro and 3 times and 10 times optical zoom on S23 Ultra. Which do you think is better? And lastly, the selfie camera. Again, 4K 30 FPS. I feel like the selfie camera on Pixel 8 Pro is superior compared to Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro. Both are top of the line smartphones from Samsung and Google. And if you talk about the best cameras on an Android phone, Pixel and Galaxy phones will be on the top of the list, even in DxO Mark ranking. I like what Pixel is doing on their cameras while they're keeping all the good features from last year's model. They're trying to improve on the things they're not known from the past, which is the video performance. And they're capitalizing on their software prowess by adding a lot of AI features that controls the camera app and additional editing tools. While Samsung Galaxy will try to keep pushing the boundaries of a smartphone cameras, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is one of the few smartphones with 8K 30fps video recording, the crazy 100x pay zoom, and undoubtedly one of the best portrait modes you will find on a smartphone. And speaking of portrait mode, the portrait video on Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is pretty solid, even comparing with an iPhone or a Pixel phone. I think you can't go wrong with any of these two phones. These are solid flagship phones, but today we'll answer the question, who do you think is better? The portrait mode on both phones are pretty solid in terms of how it looks, and if that's what you're looking for on a flagship phone, then you might want to consider any of these two phones. Natively on the widest FOV, you will get the wider field of view on Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra because Pixel 8 Pro punch in at 1.5x. Samsung Galaxy S23 also has a better cutout because Pixel 8 Pro struggles with the busy background to the point that it's unacceptable. And normally the miss on Pixel 8 Pro is around the neck and head area, so if you're doing portrait mode on Pixel 8 Pro, you would kinda know that you're using a smartphone. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra also has a gradual blur that makes it more natural looking than the Pixel 8 Pro, and I should say there's a stronger filter on the face on Samsung's flagship. You can see that the skin tone is whiter and the lips are more red. Well, if you like a shallower depth of field, you should go with Pixel 8 Pro. Also, there's a lot of details on my face and Pixel 8 Pro tends to highlight my face, but sometimes the shadows or anything darker on my face is amplified, so it kind of looks a little bit dirty. The newer Pixel 8 Pro can shoot on 1.5 times and 2 times, while Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra can shoot on 1x, 2x, and 5x. And one of the great things about the new Pixel phone is the selfie camera. Although it can only shoot 10.5 megapixel, but it controls the flaring really well. It has better contrast, but sometimes struggles on low light portrait mode. And speaking of low light photos and night shots, both phones are really good too. Again, with my previous comparison between Pixel 8 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, I mentioned that Pixel might not be the best phone right now for night shots or night photography. I feel like Samsung, Apple, and Huawei already caught up on this game. Pixel 8 Pro will give you natural looking low light photos, it has better exposure than Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra most of the time. It also produces better details looking at the grass. While the older Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has better colors and warmer, and if you look on the stronger light source like the windows or anything brighter, you will see that there's more information, it controls the highlights really well. And looking at all the sensors from the ultra wide, wide, and telephoto, again, same consistency, Pixel 8 Pro is better exposed, and Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is warmer. And lastly, low light video, S23 Ultra is better exposed compared to Pixel 8 Pro and Pixel has better contrast. It's just a little bit lagging maybe because of the slower shutter speed, but all good. So this is the ultimate camera comparison video of Pixel 8 Pro versus Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I think the older Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is still a better phone to talk about the higher resolution, longer reach, more focal length, slow motion, and 8K video recording. It pushes the boundaries of a flagship camera phone. While the newer Pixel 8 Pro has all the essentials from the image quality to video stabilization, not to mention all the AI editing tools that you can use to make your photos look better. Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is slightly a better phone for me, but Pixel 8 Pro will give you more value than the Samsung's flagship.
And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel. Maybe the speed test and the battery test next. So stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.